Hey everybody, welcome back to Toy Notes with me, Kelsey. Today we are playing with slime in the Science For You Slime Factory. Slime has been huge this year, whether you're making it yourself from Elmer's glue and whatever else you can find around the house to stick in there like the little gel beads, or if you're making it in a kit like this one. So I thought it would be appropriate to include it. It's got a educational book inside. I'm not really sure what it's educating on yet, but we'll have to open it to figure that out. It's got uh, food coloring in there so you can make different color slime. And then all of the stuff you're gonna need, including protective gloves to make sure that no harm comes to skin when mixing all of the slime. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this one unboxed. Well, that was super easy to unbox. It's honestly, it's kind of own carry case, which I love. It kind of keeps everything concise. Um, I just pulled the shrink wrap off and it opened right up. No need for these bad boys. So they're going back down here. So inside, maybe I should have kept the scissors out. Maybe. Aha, there we go. Inside we have sodium alginate, calcium chloride, Guar gum, guar gum. This looks like the yellow food coloring, blue food coloring, and this is an empty jar that you're supposed to do a sodium alginate solution in. So there's that, oh, and then we have green food coloring. So that's the first bag. Oh, and red food coloring, oh, we got lots of that. So this big bag of stuff is in a different language. What is this? Cornmeal. This is cornmeal. Big old bag of cornmeal. And then here is our instructions, looks like, and the educational book all in one. And then we have all our safety stuff. So I'm a big fan of safety. So I got my protective goggles, which actually fit pretty decent considering I haven't had to make any adjustments yet. We've got some cups, some gloves, a mixing tray, some little baggies, more little cups, stirring sticks. Oh my goodness, there's so much in this kit. Test tubes, pipettes, and these little like straw stirrer things. So it looks like there actually genuinely is everything that you need all in this kit, which is a first for me because a lot of the science kits that I've played with have about a quarter of the stuff you need. And this one even comes with protective gear and that's just adorable. So looking at the booklet here, talks about what you get. And it's got the, uh, like the MSDS safety sheets on all the products inside. So the Sign Factory book has got um, information about what polymers are, how chemical bonds work, how matter works. Ooh, this is kind of cool. This is very educational. And then when you get towards the back, that's when you can do the different solutions. So calcium chloride solution you can make, a dilution experiment, the multiplying monster. Hmm. How does that work? Well, it doesn't even tell you what happened. I kind of want to do that one now and see. You can make colored worms. Ooh. Catch me if you can. These are actually, so what's the best part about this, I think, is one, all of the stuff you need for the experiments, all those experiments I just read off, are all the things that are already in your kit. So. A plus for science for you for that. 
Additionally, it doesn't tell you what happens, so it leaves you curious, and then they have really cool names like the Multiplying Monster and Catch Me If You Can. So it kind of makes you think, well, what happens then? It makes you want to do the experiment. So this makes learning about polymers and how chemical bonds work really fun. And since science and learning and hands-on play is going to be one of the biggest 2017 toy trends, I think this one is well on its way to being my favorite science kit yet. But I won't know until I get my hands dirty. I want to make some slime and try out one of these experiments. So come on in a little closer and let's do it. All right, it's time to play with the Slime Factory Slippery Slugs kit. And the best part about this kit, everything you need is right inside. So what we're gonna do today, our experiment today, is the multiplying monster. Everything you need is in the kit, and we're gonna have to mix up a couple of solutions real quick in order to get started. So this is the calcium chloride crystals that are included in your kit, and experiment two is the experiment to show how to mix this. Essentially what you're going to do is take one of your little measuring cups, So you're going to take one of your very small measuring cups and you're going to fill it with water up to the 20 ml mark. Once you have 20 ml of water, you're going to add it to this flask of calcium chloride very carefully. Now it's going to ask you to add 10 more ml, which is about half of this cup. Okay. 10 ml, we're going to also add that to this flask. And that gives us just about a full. And it says now you're going to shake it until the crystals are fully dissolved. Okay, so our calcium chloride solution is all made up now. Now we're ready for the multiplying monster. So doing experiments one, two, and three is necessary for the multiplying monster. We have the calcium chloride solution, a sodium alginate solution, and then a coarse calcium chloride dilution here. And this pipette I'm gonna be marking because we'll only use it for this dilution. So starting with the multiplying monster, we're gonna put five ml in this little cup of the sodium alginate. Now, if you don't wanna pour it, you can pipette it out. Now, sodium alginate is gonna chunky until it has um, set overnight, typically, and then it still will have some chunks if it sets for a long time. 
So I'm going to go past the chunks and measure out 5 ml. These pipettes are about 1 ml on their own. Now remember we're going to keep the pipettes separate. And the sodium alkanate is kind of thick like syrup I would say. That's 3, 4, There's five. I'm going to set that over here. Now, typically, you would be wearing gloves and protective equipment for this. Um, I'm not because I'm naughty. So with a pipette, add blue food coloring to the measuring cup and mix well with one of the wooden spatulas. So we have a wooden spatula, and then we have our blue food coloring. And I need one more pipette here. And all of these are child-proof um, safety caps, so that's really nice. So it doesn't say how much food coloring to add. I'm just going to add a little bit at first. All right, and I'm going to stick this over here where it's not going to make a mess and then we're going to mix well. That's a nice blue color, nice deep blue. So we've mixed this up nice. Again, I'm going to set my blue spatula over here so it doesn't cause a problem. All right, now that we have the blue food coloring all mixed in, I'm going to carefully cap this before it's a problem and set it off to the side. Now it says to take your pipette for the calcium chloride solution and remove 3 ml from the plastic container solution and add it to the cup. Now this is the dilution and this is what we're going to use. So we're going to take 3 ml, 1, 2, 3, and slightly shake the cup so the liquid can involve all the sodium alginate solution. Just wait a few seconds. Now it says, tilt the cup a little to remove the calcium chloride solution remains that's on this and use a wooden spatula to make sure that only the calcium chloride remains are removed. So you're going to not have the sodium alginate and the calcium chloride are not going to fully mix. I'm going to show you guys. So if you look closely, you can see that it's not mixed fully. There's a lighter part of the solution and a darker part. The sodium alginate is your dark, darker part. So now we're just going to take our wooden spatula and make sure the sodium alginate stays in there and pour off this calcium chloride. Okay. Now it says So it wants me to handle this now. You can see it's kind of a jelly solution. I'm going to bring you guys in a little closer and push this off to the side because we're going to add these little monsters in here and watch what happens. Okay, so I'm going to take this out of here. We have our jelly sodium alginate solution and it says to pull it out. 
You can see it's very jelly and it says to squeeze it and let it drain. Obviously, this is why you use the um, gloves. Now, this has become like a deflated balloon. I'm going to put it back here. But you can see that inside it, when I popped it like a balloon and let it drain, all these little guys are the little monsters that were, they were talking about. That's part of the original piece there. Squeeze it and let them monsters drain out. There we go. So you've successfully done the little multiplying monsters. And if you want to keep these, you would just go ahead and put them in a test tube. And then they would just be ready for your next experiment with them. Well guys, I packed away my slime factory for now. I had a lot of fun and I think this one is my favorite science kit that I have opened thus far, mostly because other than tap water, it has everything you need inside it. This one had a lot more science-based, um, chemical-based kind of scientific um, experiments. Experiments is the word I'm looking for. And I had fun doing the multiplying monster with you guys. It was kind of cool to learn how the calcium and the sodium alginate work together to create these little gel balls monsters. And it's a great way for kids to learn about science and chemical bonds in a safe and fun way. So this one is by far my most recommended. It wasn't that expensive and it comes with everything you need, which is not something I can say for any of the other kits that I have looked at thus far. So guys, if you want to be here for more top 2017 toy trends, I am staying up on all of the projected bestsellers. That way you know before everybody else does and you can get in on it before your kid asks. Or you can get on it before they're all gone like what happened last fall with all the Hatchimals. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and stay tuned at ToyNotes.com where I have more reviews and I can tell you what you're getting for your, your dollars. Make sure that you're spending the money in the right place. So guys, until next time, bye.